Morning YouTube. Just got off work. It's Wednesday. Good old hump day cigar. As you can see, I'm smoking. Uh, try another Natsuko Cuban Legends. This one's a stubby though. Just didn't feel like a full one today, so figure I smoke a small one. You know, just to just to get into it, just a little bit today. Anyways, I have a pretty good story there today. Tried uh, some chew for the first time. It was some, uh, I can't remember what kind it was, but it was like minty flavored. So buddy I'm working with, he's like, do you want to try some chew out? I said, sure, no problem. So he gives me the chew. I put it in my mouth. I'm sitting there. About 20 minutes, half an hour goes by. He's like, what do you think of it? I was like, oh, it's okay. It's, you know, it's all right. And then another 45 minutes goes by. He goes, uh, you're not spitting. I was like, well, no. He's like, you're not swallowing that shit, are you? I said, well, I think so. I guess so. I'm not really spitting it out. He's like, it's chew. You swallow, you kind of chew on it and then you spit it out. You're not supposed to swallow it. So next thing you know, I'm freaking like, what? So there, I've been freaking swallowing it for 45 minutes. A bunch of chew. I was gonna tell him it didn't taste real good. It tastes like a fucking swallowing ashtray or cigarettes. It's brutal. So I tried it again about an hour after that. I have a tendency to swallow. So the chew is definitely a no go for me. And it's gross. I just couldn't do it, couldn't stand the taste of it. Just a uh, minty flavored guess, but uh, almost felt like you were sucking on. Like wet cigarettes or something. Just brutal. Couldn't get past it. So that was my first chew experience. Definitely will be uh, not touching that stuff again. Gave me good. Gives you quite the friggin' buzz though, man. Holy frig. Had quite the head buzz going on, but uh, can't do it. I'm a. Uh, I like to swallow. I have a tendency to swallow here and there. So uh, the chew's a no go for myself. I don't know. Just gearing down. Gearing down for friggin' hunting there. Just getting closer and closer all the time. I got a week off, so I've been looking forward to that. Other than that, just cleaning up the garage. Getting colder, bringing some more wood. Kind of taking my time. Uh, got back into Skyrim again. I don't know if anybody's a big Skyrim nerd. I sure am. I uh, easily get addicted to things. Except for cigars, imagine that. I wouldn't say I'm really addicted to them. But uh, I, but uh, Skyrim for one thing for sure, I pretty get it indicted to pretty quick. So uh, just uh, what do you get addicted to? Is there anything that you do that uh, you tend to get addicted to, or you know, I wouldn't say addicted, maybe I'm just compulsive about it. Like I'll play Skyrim now until freaking Christmas, until I beat it again, whatever you know, and, or I get right into music. Which I always have been into music, but I get more into music now. But, uh, or I'll get in, you know, just, uh, I'll take my flings at things. You know, I'll get really obsessive about it for a bit, and then trail off, and I'll get right back into it and trail off again. Just, uh, what are, what are some things that you guys get obsessive about, if anything? I think I was watching some anime, like, I don't know if you ever heard of Bleach. Me and the wife watched a bunch of that. It was really good. But we watched, we were just, like, watching eight or nine episodes a night there. We were getting into it. Other than that, Wednesday night, Duck Dynasty night. Looking forward to some of that. I don't know if anybody else out there watches uh, the old Duck Dynasty Fear of the Beards, but uh, I sure do. I used to watch them when they were Duck Commander and uh, Buck Commander, so looking forward to a new episode of that. Get to watch that. Freaking wild guys down there, boy. But other than that, I'm just uh, smoking my way through the little stub here. I'm not a big stubby fan. But on a day like today, I can see definitely where it would come in handy. Don't really feel like a full cigar, so just why not half a cigar? Not even a little freaking, just a little nub, just enough to get a little bit of a, a smoke taste or a little nicotine rush on. But other than that, I have to say that's about it. Just figure I'd do a Papa Villa video. 
These cigars aren't too bad. If you ever, if you see these out, uh, not so Cuban legends there, they're not too too bad. They're pretty good taste. Good smoke. <laughs> you know, I like the sweet taste leaving your mouth for uh, a couple hours after you're done smoking them. If any of you guys are on PlayStation Network, uh, my name's uh, Northern Express, capital N, and just Northern, uh, underscore with the line, Express, capital E, XP, R E S S. So if you want to add me on there, by all means, go for it. When I'm playing, I play a lot of Call of Duty, Skyrim, Skate 2, shit like that. So if you're on there, freaking give me an ad and we'll go from there. Other than that, I guess Christmas, oh uh, no, Halloween's coming up too. I got my uh, Halloween outfit, me and Tabooey there. We got her all lined up. We're just in the final processing of making her happen, so definitely be a video on that. And our entrance there. It'll be uh, pretty interesting. I don't have enough facial hair myself, so I had to kind of improvise. Other than that, the cigar is kind of sucking right now. Tasting real burnt, so I don't know if it's dried out or what, but, but anyways, I don't know. I'll let you go. Uh, I'll probably make a video on the weekend if I get around to it. If not, I'll talk to you when I talk to you. Cheers from the old Canada.